So City Skylines has really changed a lot upon release. We've had multiple patches and we had uh, three expansions. We've got After Dark, Snowfall, and Match Day. So Don, do you remember anything about this game at all? No. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. So hopefully I can kind of teach you some tips about traffic and the, the new canal system and new terrain features. Okay, so we are playing with a few mods here. Uh, nothing that's going to like alter the game at all, kind of just visual mods. So we are playing with a modded map, which I really, really actually like. It's one of the newer, more beautiful maps. So we're going to have like kind of nice little, I don't know, I'm thinking Miami here with like large beaches, or I'm sorry, large uh, kind of buildings on, on a seafront. Going, going to Vice City? Let's yeah, build, yeah. Let's build Vice City. We oh, I want to build Vice City, Drew. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's 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 up to you because I would like to give you some creative control, except for in the very beginning, Dalton. No offense, I don't want you to destroy the town too early. So like, <laughs> so like once we get enough money up and once we get all of these like barriers out of the way, then uh, then we'll do that. So let's jump into this real quick. Um, uh, of course, we have to do something like this because I don't know why we're still forced to, I don't know, unlock certain roads by placing one down. Um, okay, so here's our freeway. This is a really good map. It's a very beautiful map, but we're kind of screwed here because like the way the freeway comes, it's, it kind of like halves everything and it, it obviously wants you to start near the coast. So we'd have to create like a whole nother off ramp over on this side if we wanted to. Except, except Donald, I prepared for this. There's like a small little passageway, bam, right there, boom. We can get a little road going this way to get closer to the, uh, I guess towards the northern part of the highway. So you so done, done your homework is what you I said. did, a little bit, a little bit, I tried. Um, so I guess let's just get started with throwing down, let's see, let's start like somewhere around there. And uh, we definitely want some, I, I would like some homes along the sand, don't you Donald? I think that would be kind of cool yeah. looking. Everybody wants to live on the beach. Exactly, exactly, so that's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go with this uh, kind of freeform tool and then right when it starts to curve too much, I'll bring it out like this. Okay, that's like a little bit too much. Okay, there we go. So this is where we're gonna be. I think our, our first sort of residential area will be. I'm bring it right there in the corner. Bring it all the way to the corner. All okay, the way. okay, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Right, right there. Bam. All right. So you're gonna get some Sexy. really cool houses. I think right along the uh, right along the sand here. We need to think of a water situation first, Donald. Now, I mean, there's all that beach right there. I know, right? There's so much water. That's kind of strange if you think about it, because we're essentially gonna be stealing water from the sea water that should probably be a new a new expansion after this but anyways <laughs> uh yeah so we have to start pumping water we can go with a uh, a water tower but it's it's a little bit more efficient to just do the water pumping station and we're probably gonna have to dump our poop somewhere as well because the city dump is obviously it. going to be pooping dump it downstream you okay. always dump <laughs> it downstream <laughs> are you sure donald we could we could always pump it upstream no, but I'm gonna put this. Uh, we're gonna pump in. We're gonna try. To, we're gonna take this gross seawater. I guess we could imagine it as a lake. No, that that probably is not a lake. Uh, so we're gonna pump the water into this pipe, and then we're gonna. So this is an interesting map because the way we have to deal with our poop, it's gonna it's gonna come out here anyways. <laughs> it's a little bit scary actually when you think about it. We actually, you know, we're, it, we're drinking our poop is what you're saying. We might at some point if there's enough sewage kind of coming down this river and enough of it gets over here, th that might be a bad thing. But uh anyways, I'm going to put the poop water over this way and it's going to be coming <laughs> right out into the ocean. So <laughs> so all of these like beach homes are going to be totally screwed. Um but one thing is like there's not really you don't want to worry about it too much like you you'd be surprised like towards the later parts of the game, you can completely alter the way your city looks. So you know, maybe if it's not the most efficient right now in video one, we can make it probably a more efficient city as uh, as time goes by. So we obviously need power, so we're going to use wind powder power because uh, I don't really like the coal power plants. Those things are really expensive and they pollute a lot. Um, so we'll probably do something here because our first few residential homes will start off on the corner, and then we have to get power to both our pumping stations. Okay, so I think that's I think that's about good. Let's get some people into the town. Let's just start off like right there. If we were to, like, you know, just do this big, like, just get all that green right here, more than likely, knowing my luck, they'll start building over here. They won't have any power. They won't have any, you know, then they'll start water. Bitching. Yeah, exactly. And then they'll be, yeah, complaining all the time, uh, which actually I completely forgot. We'll have this continue to play. But I need to make sure that this connects. That's probably important, right? That is very important. And actually, without a town, there we go. So we have a few homes, which is connecting the, okay, good, the electricity. Uh, now, did they have water? We They have access to a little bit of water. Let me make sure that we go right there. So you have to make sure that everything, wait, what? Space is occupied. Everybody gets water. Yeah, you got to make sure that everybody gets water. Water is pretty important. So, bam, just like that. And We're then there we go. Water, Drew. What was that? People are 70% water. They, that's true. That's true. Is it 70? I thought it was like 90. 
Is it 90? I don't know. I'm that sure could... it's Maybe that's the world. Maybe you're, the Earth is 70% water. Maybe, maybe, oh, that's... You're maybe right. I'm you're right. My <laughs> stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I think... My brain is frying from the heat. That's true. Okay. Yeah, from the from the town, California right? California problems. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. So me and Donald are both from Southern California, and whenever I play City Skylines, uh, everyone always makes fun of me for my lack of knowledge for public transit. Like, we're so <laughs> bad at public transit. Like, whenever I play City Sky- Skylines, I always have the worst traffic because I, I think that compared to other people in the world and in the U.S., like, we don't know anything. Like, we don't, like our bus systems are crappy. We don't have subways. Like, we have metro. We, we do have metro. Yeah, but that's about it. And, like, it's like we – Californians don't even want to use the metro. So it's kind of yeah. like – I don't know. Because we got – Big freeways. We don't need no metro. Yeah, we we much rather just sit on an hour to travel like ten miles on the freeway. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, that's one thing. I know this is kind of a tutorial series, but uh, we're probably both not the best at traffic, and I blame that due to our California where we live. heritage. Yeah, but uh, no, we're gonna try. I'll try with a few bus lines. I know, you know bus lines. What, you pretty, know what we are good at? Pretty though? well. What is that? Living on the beach. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good point, Donald. You got a got a very good point. So I think we did a tutorial like almost like a year or two ago, um, and I, one thing that I wanted to mention is that loans are your best friend. Like loans are good, man. We we'll take out as many loans as we want. Which there's only like two in the very early game. Then you get a third one, but we're gonna be taking out all those loans because loans are good. Loans are good. Uh, so the point of me like talking about like in the beginning, I didn't want to have a, uh, I, I didn't want to have to build everything just south of this highway. I want to build all the crap, like all the pollution area, all the people, you know, all the uneducated people where they're going to work. I wanted to build that up here, away from our beautiful beaches. Beach. You know Gotta what I mean? Keep the beach clean. Exactly. So that's the point, and you can see that we're getting a little bit more demand for uh, industry. Right now, we don't have access to offices, but we can always change the industry to offices. Like I said, the pollution's not too big of a deal. Uh, I'm going to go with this freeform tool again, and I'm going to kind of start us cutting underneath this highway. There we go. Because this is kind of where I want to build all the crap so that no one sees the crap. No it's one, like if yeah. if you're driving down the highway, just don't look left. <laughs> if you just don't look left at all, just look at the nice beach over here. Nice that's, beach, all those, all those beautiful homes. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm hoping for. So um, Can you can you make it a nude beach? I want a nude beach, Drew. Uh, you know, that's a good question. Maybe with mods. Maybe with mods. But I'm trying not to use too many game-changing mods since this is kind of a tutorial series. But maybe we will. Maybe we will. Uh, also, something to notice is that I'm using um, I'm using a lot of the small roads. That is important because less traffic. Well, you 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 create less intersections for one. So there's no there's not going to be lights when you right. whenever you have lights. That's bad because you're going to have people stop. And then yeah, it backs up. So these small roads are going to be good because they're essentially just pretty much stop signs or almost just yields. Like people just kind of yield and they just go on in. So. Um, it's important, and also they're a lot cheaper. So starting off, if we were to use a medium road, they're going to be a lot more expensive and a lot more upkeep. So uh, that's that's going to be bad. So let me do like a straight road, and I think we'll be kind of set for our. I'm mean, not really set, but our industry will start to just start to get going here. So I want to continue to curve here. You know, this game's all about having fun, being creative. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not the most creative person in the world, so uh, people like to make fun of me for some of my some of my creations, some of my artistic. Uh, lack or lack thereof artistic thingies. You know, because it's industry though, it could be kind of a grid. I don't like to building, I, you know, if you're watching this tutorial and you have nothing, you have no idea about City Skylines, which is kind of you, Donald, you don't know much about City Skylines. Grids are good because you can be really efficient with grids and actually I'm not being efficient because if you if you want to be like super technical about it, I've got all this wasted space in the middle. But luckily, because of the map, I mean, there's so much land that we can buy and I do have the 25 purchable, purchasable tiles, so... We're gonna have so much land, like we're not even gonna know what to do with it. So um, let's start to let's start to throw on some of these, some of these industry buildings. But uh, yeah, point is, point is, I don't know what my point is. Point is, yeah, we're gonna have grids, the industry. Grids are okay. Grids are good, but like for the sake of this playthrough, to have fun, and I know that you're probably not gonna build grids, Donald, because you can, like I said, you're gonna have creative control. Maybe not in this video, but in a video soon. I don't know why I'm using this. I'm dumb. Um, You'll, you'll probably not want to build grids. It's too much too much fun doing kind of like windy roads and things like that. So we've got all this room here for more like services and more residential. So that'll be that'll be nice. Uh, but we need to make sure that they get water. So I'm going to pull some water over here. And uh, this is not going to be the most efficient way. I probably wasted a whole bunch of money doing that. And uh, we also <laughs> need electricity. So we're just off. Like this windmill is like just off. So what we can do is we can raise up the, uh, raise up the, the line and then bring it over there like that. Okay, so there's our industry. 
I'm thinking for now, and, I, and, and again, you don't have to listen to any of these rules, Donald. When you're, when you're building, I'll suggest things. I'll be like, Donald, you probably shouldn't do that. But you could be like, I don't care. <laughs> you could just be like, I do not care, Drew. Um, so, like, I, I'm going to build a few of the commercial buildings out this way. I feel like... I feel like that would be good since people are like going to their homes. They also can stop by the grocery store or something like that. You know, if they need to pick up a, I don't know, what what do people, what do regular people pick up, Donalds? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. There you go. If they need to pick up toilet paper, then that's good. Sunblock. Since we're going with the sun whole beach theme. Sunblock. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's a that's a very good point. So yeah, sunblock and things like that. So we'll put some. Uh, I, I'm thinking commercial all along this area. And something to keep in mind is I know I talked about like using only small roads for now, but we're for sure going to have to upgrade these to probably medium to even large roads, which means that we're going to probably be destroying some of the homes since the medium roads are a lot bigger and the larger roads are a lot bigger. But that's okay. I mean, people people will get over it. Yeah. It's fine. They'll get over it. They don't need to. They don't need anything like that. People live like on that. beach, they're douches anyways. Yeah, exactly. I mean, plus you're living on a beach. Like we're letting you live on a beach. I'm hoping there's no like tsunami. Oh, look, we got a little boat passing by. That's Going pretty cool. All our poop. Yeah, so, that's true. Which, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, do we have access to the pollution map mode yet? No, we've got access to the wind. So we're just starting off. We only have like 300 people up in the town. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Look at that sunrise. Oh, I would live there. Yes, I, I would I would like to live there. But I, let's be real, Donald. This would probably be like million-dollar houses. Definitely. At least in California. Maybe not million. in certain places. But, um, yeah, this is what we got going on here. And uh, I'll try to do as much. We'll try to, like, show off our town as we... Go can you like follow a person like yes. click on them and go like third person yeah uh yes we can we can do that exact same thing uh there's also a first person mod but uh i you know we i didn't jump into that too much but maybe we will for a future series but yeah we can follow this guy so he's going all the way around this is probably not the most efficient i should probably build these uh these big truckers oops i have to stop following him uh i should probably build these trucker dudes a road so they don't have to go all the way in the corner i guess I guess. Wait can a you set like certain roads for certain things? Yes, we like can. That? Is that so what we're we, doing? we we use uh, we use districts to be able to, yeah, we can limit the way because like eventually this is going to cause way too much traffic. Eventually we're going to have all these you know these trucks going through the residential streets and that's going to cause so much traffic. So we don't want that. Um, I just built another windmill because uh, eventually you know you you lose power, you lose enough power. Like one windmill is not going to be enough. So there's another one. That's, so when we see like little things like that, oh good, we've passed the first uh, milestone. So we've got 400 population, not bad. We Moving have a up. lot more to go though. Moving up in the world. So much more. So yeah, I think uh, I think you're right, Donald. Let's go ahead and give these truckers a little bit of a of a pathway. So we'll do something like that, I guess. I don't want to be like that. That's pretty not efficient. Yeah, I really like my curves. I, I, like I said, I would like to stick away from. I like to stay away from being. Um, too too gritty, too gritty in the sense of like grids, not like Dark Knight Rises movies. <laughs> but yeah, so there we go. So we got like a nice little triangle, and I think we'll do like kind of that sort of look to it. Uh, one thing that I do want to eventually jump into is terrain, which we won't be able to get into in this video because I think that um, we're gonna have to start wrapping up here soon. But you know, terrain is something that was just recently added, as well as canals. You can now build your own canals, so we could technically you know take some of the poop water and you could bring the poop water closer to the to the homes you know what i mean so that is uh that's something recent everybody loves poop water exactly i mean i love swimming in it it's amazing that's what i do in my free time but uh like we also have stadiums too so you can build like a football stadium and uh and that will be something that i also want to jump into that was pretty much recently added into the game but uh i think we are good for now let me just uh let me just add a little bit more industry here and I believe they're going to still have access to water, right? Yeah, they still have access to water, and we have to watch residential. So, like I said, this corner will probably be mostly commercial, and then everything up here will be residential. We'll put our services like, you know, elementary schools or high schools or things like that. And uh, in terms of tiles, I'll probably let you buy the first tile. We, we can't buy tiles yet, but there's this island over here, which is pretty cool. And over this way is going to be like this big mountain range. So I'll let you decide. But like I said, Donald, like over the course of the next maybe next video, I'm going to have to kind of take the reins a little bit. Take the reins a little bit, Donald. I'm sorry. Just don't burn down my city. Okay, okay I got you. I got you. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to have to stop right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Donald, did you learn anything today? 
Uh, I learned that we're just going to drink a bunch of poop water. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's true, yes. We are going to... Actually, do we have access to the... Yeah, we have access to the pollution map mode now. Um, we don't see that much. You know, there's only 400 people, so there's not that much pooping going on. But when we have, like, thousands and thousands... <laughs> You can just tell, like, this whole river is just going to be uh, the Deuce the deuce River. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to stop right there, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.